concerning Jesus. You know what? They did say he would rise in three days. And I heard two brothers saw him walking the other day. Following Jesus was my choice. I mean, I needed to see for myself. Yeah, oftentimes I would miss events and get information secondhand. I made a choice to follow him, not because I believed in him, but because I wanted to find out if what he professed, if who he professed to say he was to be. Uh, many of the Jews, uh, they were either intrigued or annoyed by Jesus. I was the former. I mean, Jesus was always giving us these cryptic messages. I mean, at least they were cryptic to me. I mean, he would say, in my father's house, there are many rooms. And if that were not so, I would have told you. I would go to prepare a place for you. Um, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come to you and take you there to be with me. And you may there be with me also, where I am. You know the way I'm going and the place where I'm going. And I asked him, I said, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How will we go? And he replies to me, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me, no one comes to the Father but through me. And if you really know me, you know my Father as well. From now on, you do know me and have seen me. And you, from now on, you do know me and you do know him and have seen him. Uh, maybe I didn't understand because of my lack of belief. Um, but it wasn't because his message wasn't clear. Yesterday, I, was, uh, I wasn't I was so sure. I mean, I thought there was no way that his body was gone. I mean, unless I see the holes in his hands myself, I can't believe. I mean, today we were discussing the last few days and he appeared out of nowhere. He approached me with his hands out and shows me his hands. He asked me to place my hands into his side and he asked me to place my hand into his side. He said, stop doubting and believe. Now, I know what you know in thinking 